assalamu alaikum everyone today we are going to conduct lecture number 19 of this online course and today's topic is arithmetic instructions so let's proceed to our topic so the today's topic is arithmetic instructions so what are arithmetic instruction instruction set of 8086 has number of arithmetic instructions which involves operations like addition subtraction multiplication division these operands, uh, operations can be performed on various data formats which we have covered like ascii packet packed or unpacked pcd numbers or signed and unsigned binary numbers as well uh, we are going to see their examples as well one thing which is important about addition and arith or arithmetic instructions uh, their effects on flags means there are certain flags which get affected uh, which, which get effects uh, from uh, arithmetic operations so whenever these instructions like addition subtraction multiplication and divisions are performed inside microprocessor so some of the status flags uh, change their statuses and what are those flags for example uh, we have heard about carry flag auxiliary flag zero flag sign flag parity flag and overflow flag so these are the six status flags which gets uh, the effects from various arithmetic operation and we will see these effects in our coming slides okay the very first instruction that we are going to cover in this lecture is aid instruction and aid instructions format is like this aid d comma s uh, where d is destination operand and s is source operand so what is going to happen source plus destination both of these operands get added and the result will store in destination so this is the operation of uh, add instruction let's proceed to an example for example uh, we know that the value of ax register is 0 1 1 double 0 and the value of px is 0 abc and we are going to apply add instruction on these register like add ax comma px in this specific example ax is our source and bx is our uh, destination uh, sorry px is our source and ax is our destination so that means px plus ax will get both of these will be added and the result will store in ax so what is going to happen uh, bx is equal to 0 abc ax is equal to 1 bbc uh, that is the after effect of instruction because uh, source will remain same there will be no effect on source operand which is bx but the effect, the value of ax register which is destination register is going to change uh, i hope this addition is simple to you for example c plus 0 becomes c b plus 0 becomes b a plus 1 becomes b and 1 plus 0 become 1 so that is our uh, result after the execution of uh, instruction which instruction aid instruction and uh, this results appears in destination register furthermore we don't see any carry flag here so carry flag will be equals to uh, zero or it will remain same uh, since there is no carry that is the fact so i hope uh, this uh, instruction is clear okay this slide represents number of addition instructions uh, for example we see here this instruction add whose mnemonic is a double d add and the meaning of this particular is addition and a d comma s is the format of this instruction and this is the same instruction that we have covered in the last slide uh, furthermore in the fourth column one can see that the operation of this instruction that how this operation is performed uh, source plus destination and whatever the result of this summation is goes to in the destination operand similarly if there is a carry so it is going to affect uh, the carry flag and it is going to store inside the carry flag that means it is going to affect the flag register as well and there can be number of flags which can get effects from uh, add instructions so these are the flags which can get affected so that's why affected flags are also mentioned in the last column one uh, one important instruction about addition is adc 
and its meaning is add with carry and the format of this specific instruction is add adcd comma s uh, here one can clearly see that the format is almost similar uh, as we discussed in the add instruction but operation is a bit different how it is different it is going to be summation of three things source destination plus carry flag so it actually also adds up if there is any carry uh, which is priorly stored in the carry flag and the result will go to the destination operand so that means destination operand will be uh, holding the summation of three uh, different items uh, one is source other is destination itself and third item is carry flag and again if there is going to be uh, a carry generation then that carry will store in the carry flag again there are number of flags which can get effects from these uh, this adc instruction so uh, these flags are mentioned here okay the third instruction that we are going to see is inc which is increment and what does it mean it is incrementing by one and format is very simple increment d so one can see here is only one operand which is destination operand so what is going to happen in the operation uh, whatever the value of the d or the destination operand uh, it will be incremented by one and the result will store again in the d so there can be a uh, number of flags which can be affected by this instruction one can clearly observe that carry flag is not represented here so carry flag doesn't uh, uh, carry flag does not get effects uh, doesn't affected by this specific uh, instruction okay uh, here we see other two instructions like triple a and d double a triple a and d double a are very important instruction uh, when once we are going to deal with our ascii uh, data format or bcd data format so we will be observing them and uh, the op operation will be clear once we are going to practice these instructions on emulator okay there are some instructions which are uh, there are some flags which are defined and some flags which are undefined these are also mentioned in this uh, column so please follow these instructions practice them using emulator uh, and you will get uh, to know what what are the flags which are going to get effect from these instruction so let's proceed to an emulator example and where we are going to test these instructions one by one okay let's uh, examine some of the instruction that we just learned in that table so let's write simple instruction move ax comma 0245 hex and we're gonna write move let's say another value in to be loaded in bx for example 0f23 uh, one hex so remember this prefix we have just added before f uh, as a number prefix so that this f is acceptable uh, for bx register okay now we gonna add them first ex comma bx so let's press this emulate button and we see here uh, okay let's arrange this information yes okay this is correct okay now we gonna run this instructions one by one so single step we see 0245 is loaded here in ax register and then we press another single step so f231 is loaded uh, in bx and we gonna add them so once we are going to add them let's see uh, okay before we uh, add we also open our flag so these are our flags if there will be any carry generation so this will also report in the flag so let's run um, sorry single step so if we single step we see here uh, result is f476 uh, we can see that uh, why uh, I hope this is clear f476 is a result and we can see that sign flag is equal to 1 which means is it is it is indicating that uh but furthermore one can see that this this is also written in the bracket that sign flag zero is for positive and one for negative that means uh, zero is indicated here sorry one is indicated here that means the number is negative if we are considering it negative number 
well that was one thing let's uh, perform the increment operation uh, let's say i and c and we gonna increment in bx so let's increment bx so we will evaluate again uh, single step single step another single step and we are going to increment in bx so f231 will become f232 look that has changed and uh, there was no effect on carry flag it, it remained same okay uh, what we what else to check uh, okay one thing more we can test here uh, okay let's say move uh, what can we do yes ADC ADC is supposed to be changed uh, okay ADC or one thing more move move uh, okay now first we will perform add bx comma ax we are again just adding them so let's see what happened uh, yes evaluate it single step 0 to 4 5 is loaded another single step f231 is loaded in bx another single step both of the result are added result is f476 and it is in ax register then we increment bx register now we are going to add these two variables bx and add so 6 plus 2 become 8 7 plus 3 should be 10 so result should be a uh, 4 2 okay I'm writing it for you so that you understand f4 7 6 this is supposed to add so f 2 3 2 we are going to add them so result is 6 plus 2 8 7 plus 3 it should be a 6 and f and f 15 plus 15 that should be what that should be f plus f it should be 30 30 means uh, well, how much uh, in hexadecimal it should be 1 d right 1 d that should be the result so let's see if it is going to come or not you press I'm sorry that was e not d that was e 14 so uh, yes result is same a at e6 we see here and look this one which is extra number because that was not 16 bit result it was 17 bit result and this is reported in the carry flag i hope one can see here carry flag right uh, okay now what we are going to do we are going to perform one thing more which is okay this time we are going to check this instruction that is a d c ax comma bx uh, let's see what is going to happen so uh, this command not only aid ax plus bx but also carry flag which is here one so let's see what is going to happen in this instruction uh, let's evaluate it this is first instruction 0 to 4 5 is loaded that is third second instruction 0 f2 3 1 is loaded third instruction result is here in ax uh, again increment in bx then the thing that we discussed and now we are going to do what we are going to adc command so before adc let's check it again so result ax is ax value is f476 uh, bx value is e6 a8 and furthermore it is going to add carry as well so carry is here so let's see uh, what is going to be the result okay 6 plus 8 14 14 plus 1 15 and for 15 we have f in hexadecimal 7 plus a a is 10 so 10 plus 7 17 and 17 in hexadecimal should be 1 1 is here and 1 will be carry so 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 11 is what b and f plus e so 15 plus what 15 plus uh, 14 that becomes 29 and 29 in 
थर्ड जो डेसिमल वुड बी वन थ्री और सॉरी वन डी यस वन डी सो दैट शुड बी वन डी सो लेट सी अगेन रिजल्ट विल बी वॉट सेवनटीन बिट्स सो दीज फोर बिट्स शुड अपियर इन द डेस्टिनेशन रजिस्टर विच इज़ दी ए एक्स रजिस्टर एंड वन शुड अपियर इन कैरी फ्लैग सो लेट्स रन आई होप यू कैन सी इट वन डी बी वन एफ वन इज इन इन कैरी फ्लैग डी बी इज इन हायर बाइट ऑफ ए एक्स रजिस्टर एंड वन एफ इज इन दी लोअर बाइट ऑफ रजिस्टर सो दैट्स हाउ दिस ए डी सी इनक्रीमेंट एन एड कमांड वर्क टूगेदर एंड दे एक्चुअली अफेक्ट वेरियस फ्लैग्स विच वी कैन सी इन दिस फ्लैग विंडो सो आई होप दिस पॉइंट इज क्लियर ओके हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म ट्रिपल ए एंड डी डबल ए कमांड्स विच वी लर्न अर्लियर सो लेट्स डू इट ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव सम आज की इंफॉर्मेशन स्टोर्ड इन ए एक्स रजिस्टर लेट से इट इज जीरो फोर ए एक्स सॉरी थर्टी फोर हैक्स आई होप इफ यू रिमेंबर द टेबल और इफ यू नो इट फ्राम द टेबल थर्टी फोर इज इक्वल एंड टू ओके लेट मी राइट इन कमेंट्स इक्वल एंड टू वॉट जीरो फोर ऑफ डेसीमल राइट एंड मूव और आज की नंबर इज बेसिकली जीरो फोर एंड थ्री फोर इज इन हैक्स सो लेट्स राइट एन अदर नंबर लेट्स ए बी एक्स कॉमा कॉमा मेक इट लेट्स ए थर्टी फाइव हैक्स एंड it is basically equal to in ascii uh, okay sorry yes it is uh, equal to 5 so once we are going to add them let's add them add ax comma bx so what will be result uh, in hacks it will be different but we need uh, ascii uh, so we will be adjusting in uh, in ascii so that is why it is ascii adjustment so let's evaluate this program what going to happen first instruction is move ax comma 3 4 we single step we see 3 4 is moved in ax next to uh, next uh, instruction says 3 5 is going to load in bx so let's see yes 3 5 is loaded in the x we run one more instruction and we see result is basically 6 9 i mean in hacks but we know that result should be what result should be uh 0 9 in ascii and if we want to convert that 69 into 09 which is ascii equivalent so let's do it using this triple a instruction so look it has become now 09 so that is the use of uh, triple a instruction so whenever you are going to dealing you are dealing with ascii number which are represented in hexadecimal and you perform certain addition operation and you see that result is now uh, modified Uh, and it's not truly representing ascii number so you can change that hexa number into ascii equivalent by using this ascii adjustment command i hope this thing is clear okay here we are going to learn about da instruction let's write some in simple instruction let's say move uh, we write some let's say packed information or what you can say uh, let's say move uh, 09 hex okay and we add them into move 5 to hex and we remember it is a bcd number so uh, bcd number if you add 5 to in 09 that will sh that should be uh, that should come into uh, 61 uh, sorry 6 yeah 61 so let's see what going to happen if we add them add okay uh, i did not mention the register name ax comma okay the next line is where is this line yes next line is px comma px comma 52 so that would be ax comma px uh, okay let's evaluate it single step we see 09 is here px we see v uh, 52 is here okay there comes to a different thing when we are going to add 5 to and 09 in bcd it should appear as 61 but what we see here it is 5b because uh, this uh, addition was performed using hexadecimal so this true figure should be 61 and 
it is shown as 5b because 9 plus 2 equals to 11 and 11 in hexadecimal it is equal to b so that is a problem and we want to get rid of this problem that means whenever we perform uh, addition of two bcd number using hexadecimal format we can we can get this glitch so we want to get rid of this glitch so for this purpose we have decimal adjustment so we need to just use this instruction after the addition to avoid any such uh, glitch in the program so let's evaluate it first single step okay 09 is loaded bx 52 is loaded now we're gonna see okay 5b but we it should be 61 so let's convert it how we will do it we will use this command d double a so look now this value has become 61 which was supposed to be so this is the beauty of taa or decimal adjustment command uh, by which you can actually remove any glitch in addition if there was uh, if addition was performed using hexadecimal number i hope this point is clear okay that's it from this lecture if you have got any query or any confusions please note them down we will try to resolve those confusions in online session thank you so much for listening